Hi guys! Okay, today we're gonna be doing a full face of first impressions. Now, I have a little bit of everything here. You know, just kind of mix it up. I got some drugstore... No, no, I think I have all high-end. So, we are gonna be testing all high-end makeup. Um, let's just jump right into it. The only thing I don't have that is new is a, um foundation because i test those every saturday so let's scoot you in real close and take my glasses off and get ready okay let's just jump right in i'm gonna start with my eyes because why not i'm actually going to use this dominique cosmetics rustic glam eyeshadow palette i am so excited for this so this is what it looks like open it up you have a mirror and then these are the shades Oh my goodness. Now this looks absolutely stunning. I want to play with like these shades and like that one and that one and that one especially. Like that is a very unique shade and I am here for it. And like that pink. Oh, but this is what it looks like. Let's just uh, prime my eyes. I'm going to use my NYX white eyeshadow base. Because I don't have, I don't like to test a new eyeshadow primer with a new eyeshadow palette. Uh, because then I won't know what works. But I'm going to real quick prime my eyes my next eyeshadow base. Okie dokie. And then let's just um, take the fringe shade and pop that in the crease. Now, I have played with Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadows before. But it was one of their mini palettes. And I didn't really like it, to be honest. Uh, I, okay, so I'm, let me rephrase that. I liked the mattes, but not the shimmers. So I'm hoping the shimmers in this palette will work a little bit better, but we will see. And then to deepen that up a little bit, I'm gonna take Desert Queen, which is the orangey shade. I'm kind of really feeling like the fall vibes. So we're gonna take that Desert Queen shade and deepen it up. Ooh, that looks like such a pretty shade. We do get quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but as long as they blend okay, I don't care. And then to deepen that up even more, I'm going to take the Cactus shade, which is that shade I'm so excited to use, and stamp that in the outer V of my lid. And the shade I'm so excited for. Oh, that shade. Okay, so that's like a green blue, but it is the most unique shade like I've ever seen for matte. This is definitely not a shade I have, like, at all. And then I'm just gonna go back in between the other two brushes and blend that out. And then to deepen that up just the tiniest bit, I'm gonna take Suede and just ever so lightly blend that in the outer V. Just right there, you see the little difference? Just right there, you see that? Just a slight difference in definition it gives. And then let's take, ooh, there's two shimmers I like. So I like this Wanderlust shade, which is like this greeny, ooh, that's gorgeous. Or this Bohem, Bohemian shade. Oh, goodness. I kind of want to take the green, but like, I'm going to take them both. We're going to take this Bohemian shade, which is this shade, and stamp that like right here in the middle of my lid. I'm going to take it on a dry brush first, just to see the color payoff we do get. Okay, I mean... The issue I had previously with uh, Dominique Cosmetics eye shadow, like shimmer shadows, was the fact that it, the shimmer would transfer from my lid to like all the way up to my eyebrow, and the shimmer would just disappear by the end of the night. So that was the only issue I ever had with the uh, Dominique Cosmetics shimmer formula. So I'm hoping like the bigger palettes will not do that. So I definitely don't think this shade needs to be wet. That is it dry. And that worked pretty nicely. I'm going to go back in with that same brush I used to blend the cactus shade. And just merge the two shades together. If I can find the brush I used. She's a peach jasmine. Gorgeous. And then we're going to go in with the Wonderlust shade. Which is this shade right here. And stamp that in the inner part of my lid. Again I'm going to do the same thing and take it on a dry brush. Which... It looks to be promising, but we will see. I don't know about that shade, you guys. I'm going to wet my brush just to see if I can get a little more. Because that shade didn't really show up much. I'm going to use my In Beauty Project Beauty Setting Spray. And let's wet that. I'm just getting a lot of fallout from that shade. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, that worked so much better. So what I did is I wet the brush 
put the stuff like the what the stuff what do you call it the um shimmer shade on and then wet the brush again and that seemed to work and then I'm gonna go back in with that bohemian shade just because I feel like it did get lost all right so that's the eye look so far I'm gonna clean up under the eyes and we will come back so I do have to say though that um wand wander wash shade did give us a lot of fallout I don't know if you can see that and all that. Okay, let's move on to primer. I'm going to take this Ole Hendrickson uh, Truth Banana Bright Face Primer. It's got vitamin C banana powder uh, inspired pigments. And yeah, it just says makeup primer. We're just going to take a little bit of this and put it on the back of my hand. It does have a smell. It doesn't smell like mango, or it doesn't smell like uh, bananas. I kind of think it smells like mangoes, but that's just me. I'm gonna put some all over my face, and we will see. I mean, it gave my skin a nice sheen. I don't know if you can see. It's got like almost a shimmer effect to it. I'm liking it so far. My face feels nice. We'll see how makeup sits underneath it because I am going to use a foundation I know and love. So we will see how that wears. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, one of my favorites, and we'll use that. But I'm also going to spray my face using the CFA London Everyday Vacay Coconut Dewy Setting Mist. I've never used this and I'm excited too because I love coconut and I love setting sprays and I love dewy setting sprays. So let's see. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna shake it. We will spray a little out first because I don't wanna get doused. Ooh, that does not look like a promising mister. Ooh, it smells really strongly of coconuts too. I like that. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so the mister. Can you see like the droplets on my face? I don't like the mister. It's very concentrated. Uh, not my favorite mister, but um, I do like the glow it gave and I do like the smell. I'm gonna real quick apply this and then we'll come back for concealer. Okay, foundation is on. I just love that foundation. I do have to say though, that concealer wasn't as hydrating as I'd like it to be. And it kind of like, or not that concealer, that primer. And it kind of like, I don't know, like look at this. I, it wasn't as hydrating as I like it, I'd like it to be, so it kind of leaves, like, some spots on my face look very hydrated, and then, like, some of them look very crepey, and that is my skin, like, my skin is like that, my skin is very dry, but I don't think that primer was, like, hydrating enough for me personally, I don't know, we'll see, but the concealer I have, I'm actually excited to use, it is the Smith & Colt Cancelled Light Diffusing Concealer. I got mine in 120 Cool. Um, I don't know if this is going to be light enough. It was the lightest neutral shade they had, which uh, it might just be my skin tone. I'm not quite sure. We will just apply a little bit. We do have a big doe foot. It does have a slight smell. Not anything crazy, though. Let's just apply a few dots under this eye and see. I don't know. It looks like it might be a little dark. Okay. I mean... It's not the most full coverage thing ever, but it's a decent shade match. It is close to my skin tone, so I'm, you know, it's not going to be anything crazy. Let's try to build up another layer and see. And then we'll let this side sit a little bit and see, you know, how it looks doing that. So the concealer itself is very light, very like watery almost. And it did give a very nice glow to my skin, but I don't think it's, it, it's definitely a light coverage, maybe medium, not a full coverage by any means. And it definitely is close to my skin tone. It's not like lighter than my skin tone, if that makes sense. But I mean, I like the way it looks so far. So we let this side sit while I blended this one out. We'll see how this side blends out and what the coverage is. Because sometimes with concealers, the longer you let them sit, the higher of coverage they will be. Okay, so this is two layers. This is one layer. I think I like the one layer better. I don't know if you can see the two layers like really creasy and very like emphasized. I definitely like the one layer better. I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna build this other side up with its second layer just because, you know, I did it on the other side. I actually don't mind the shade of this either. Um, I don't always want a super intense like white concealer, so I'm not mad at the shade. I really like that. And then we're gonna move on to a cream blush that I'm excited to use, however. 
one flaw already is the packaging. So this is the Florence by Mills uh, Zen Z Cream Blush, and it broke. Like, this lid is supposed to be attached, and one day I opened it to, like, film this video and swatch it. So I was like, ooh, it's really pretty. I'll use, I'll play with this in this video. And the lid just snapped. So that's a little bit of a bummer, especially because this is, like, $18 for this blush. So I, you would hope it'd be a little better quality, but this is the shade, very, very gorgeous shade, and it feels very nice and creamy. It looks like a light coverage, kind of like a, sh a with a nice sheen to it. We're just gonna take this and blend it out like this, and then I will take my sponge and, you know, stamp it out. So that blended out into like nothing. Let's just take my sponge and directly stamp it in here and then go from there. It looks so intense when you first apply it. And then the more you blend, like, it's so easy to blend into nothing. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. It's a really pretty shade. Let's see what it looks like up close. I mean, I like it. It's a really pretty shade. I just think it's really easy to blend into nothing. Um, And I prefer going in with my sponge and just going straight on the cheek, which is nice. I do like that, especially because, like, it's easy to work with, but it's also really easy just to blend away. So I definitely think if you're just beginning to get into blush, this is a blush for you because it's super easy to work with, but it's also can be built up enough to actually like be a little more intense. It's really pretty. I love the shade. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Okay. As long as it wears nicely with like powder and things, it'll be great. And then let's set my under eyes because, oh my gosh, they, they look a little insane right now. I'm going to use this Too Faced Translucent Born This Way setting powder. Never used it. That's what this video is. You open it up and this is what it looks like. And it just says Too Faced Born This Way powder. We have like a little sifter. Let's open it up. I like that this closes to keep the powder intact, like trapped in. And I don't know if you can see. But the little sifter is shaped like a heart, which is cute. I'm going to put a little in the lid, and then we will just set my under eyes. Ooh, so it does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it, and most yellow powders don't work well for my my skin at all. Um, I'm very fair, almost too fair for yellow powders. They give my like my under eyes a really bad yellow white like uh, undertone or. Yellow cast, that's what I'm looking for. So that concealer did crease, which, you know, most all concealers do, but it was easy to blend out. Okay, that concealer blended out nicely. I'm just going to take my sponge and stamp it in and set my under eyes. So yeah, it's definitely got a yellow tone, which, I, why do powders do that? Like, if you have a deeper skin tone, I get it. But if this is supposed to be translucent, don't give it a yellow undertone. Oh, I hate that. If it works for your skin, by all means, but I can never get it to work for mine. And it's frustrating because I always want it to, but it just doesn't. Um, both of my favorite powder brushes are dirty. And I don't know where the other one is. I'm having a great time. If you guys see my favorite brushes video, then you know that I like to keep multiple of my favorite brush. And both, all of my powder brushes are dirty currently. It's a sad time. So let's just wipe this away because I... I have a bone to pick with this. I hate, hate, hate when things have a yellow undercast because it darkens my under eye and it looks so bad. It makes my under eyes look jaundiced and it's not, not a fun time at all. Um, I am going to take this powder. I think this is like a blush brush, honestly. It's the Ferro 30F brush and I'm going to dip it into the powder and set around my nose and between my brow bone and my chin. And maybe it won't give it a white, like a yellow cast because I'm just like dusting the powder over it. Okay, yep, still gave it a yellow cast. I, but it looks so nice. Oh my God, I'm so torn. Okay, um, yeah, I can't do that. Okay, so maybe if I had a, my nose itches, oh, my nose itches. Maybe if I had a lighter concealer, I could get away with that yellow powder. But with the concealer that is my skin tone, it, the yellow powder is not going very well because it darkened it a lot. But it just, my under eyes look so flawless, but they're dark, and I don't prefer that. Um, if I were to use a lighter powder, then I could, or a lighter concealer, then I could probably get away with the darker powder. But with this concealer, it's not a good mix. I will try it again with a lighter concealer because I do have some that are too light for my under eyes, 
and make it look like really bad. So I will try them with that, like my e.l.f. Uh, camo concealer. That one's like super, super white. So I'm going to try it with that and see if maybe that'll help like make it more of a suitable color for my skin tone. I do notice though, people with medium to deep skin tones love that powder. Like they rave about it, but my fair skin, it just doesn't work very well. I'm going to spray my face with the Ciate Everyday Vacay Powder or Setting Spray to try to get rid of some of that powderiness. And then real quick, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I've never used this. I've used the Brow Wiz, but never the definer. Um, I don't know how this is going to go very, like, I don't know if I'm going to like this because it is a thicker brow pencil and I have, like, no brow hairs. So I need something that's a little more um, precise. So we'll see. I'm going to real quick do my eyebrows. I'm trying to get a lot better about staying in frame all the time because I do like tend to like go like this when I'm doing something. So I'm trying to get better about staying in frame. Let me know if you guys noticed it this video or um, like it because if so, I will continue to do it. By the way, I did get this in the shade Taupe, which is uh, my like the best shade match for me for ABH products. I never know how to start using a new eyebrow pencil. Like I'm like, do I warm it up? Because, oh, okay, so it's like a little rough. Huh? Okay, eyebrows are done. Um, actually, they don't look that bad. Like, this one looks pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing I don't like about pencils like this in general is the fact that when you use them, the points go away, and then it makes it really hard to get any precise definition. So that's why I said they're usually better for someone who has uh, more brow hairs than I do or thicker brows, but it actually worked pretty nicely, and I'm pretty happy with it. And then I'm going to finish up under the eyes. We are going to take the Rustic Glam Palette. And what do we want to do? Let's take the Suede shade, since I didn't use very much of it, and stamp that close to the lower lash line. And then we're going to take the Desert Queen shade and smoke that out. Okay, such a pretty shade, and I love the contrast of the yellow and the green, or the orange and the green. And then I'm going to take Free Spirit and highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. It is a matte shade, but hopefully it, I mean, it's a pretty light shade, so it'll be nice to brighten up that those areas. Oh yeah, I don't highlight enough with those, with matte shades. So that's that. We will do mascara a little later. I'm... Not yet. Let's move on to bronzer. For bronzer, I have the Ace Butte Beaut or Beauté Bronze in Paradise Palette. And I'm going to take this shade in Bronze Up Muskin. Now, mind you, I did not set uh, my like, bronzing area and it picked up a lot of product. Ooh. Okay. Um. Maybe I should have said it. We'll go in and blend that out in a minute. But while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk to you guys. So, when I'm filming this, it's the day of Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty launch. And I ordered one of everything. Because I wanted to film it for a video. And I'm intrigued and actually do want to test it out. I really like Selena Gomez as a person and an actor and a singer, obviously. So I want to test it out for myself, but I also wanted to film it for a video. So that should be coming soon. Um, that was, that's actually a really nice bronzer shade for my skin tone. I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with that. I could even, if I wanted to, go in and deepen it up just ever so slightly, lightly with this shade. Just kind of contouring, but like not really. See, I like <laughs> I definitely think a mix of those two shades work best for me. As you can see, it, it just looks really nice. 
Um, very subtle but nice. It's very pigmented. I just went in with a light hand because they are still kind of dark. But let's move on to a highlight. I'm going to take this Dominique Cosmetics Prism Pr Prisma Prisma Glow Palette. So pretty. And these are the shades. Now this one's a cream. We won't be playing with that today. I'm gonna go in with Pink Haze, which is this shade right here, and highlight. I'm real quick first though gonna spray my face again using this uh everyday vacay spray and then taking my highlight brush and let's dip it in here and highlight this palette has a mirror oh, why don't we use it Ooh. okay right off the bat it is very glittery um a lot a lot of glitter i like a glittery highlight don't get me wrong but this is almost to the point where there's very little color and a lot a lot of glitter like look at my forehead right here Let's just straight glitter. Like, there's no color there. I mean, it's really pretty, nice and blinding, but it's not what I wanted. I am going to take this Skin Gloss shade, which is the cream, and just try to stamp some on the high points of my face. Ooh, okay. I mean, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Okay, that gave a nice sheen to my forehead. So I honestly think I like the skin gloss better than I like the powder highlight. And that's saying something because I'm not normally the biggest cream highlight fan. But I like it better, so I don't know. And then let's move on to mascara. I'm not going to apply falsies today just because I don't want to. And I'm going to take this Tristique. Uh... Mascara. Good Vibes Mascara. It's got a little curler, which I am going to use. And then this is what the wand looks like. And we will apply some mascara. Ooh. Ew. Ew. I don't know why I smelt it because it's mascara, but I did. And it smells like moldy grass. Or like, you know, the dirt after it rains. That's what this smells like. It does not smell good, and I'm a little worried to be putting this next to my eyes. But we're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to curl my eyelashes with this little mini curler, which I'm slightly scared. But it'll be okay. That's what I just keep telling myself. It didn't do anything. And it only, like, takes a quarter, like, a little piece of my lashes. Obviously doesn't get them all, but it's like, I need to hold it longer. I did nothing. It's not doing anything. I'm going to curl my lashes with my regular eyelash curler because that one did not do anything. Okay, we're going to curl one side and not the other and see if that makes a difference when applying the mascara. I'm really worried to put this next to my eyes because it smells so bad. Seriously? But can we take a moment to see how nice my lashes look after one coat? Like, granted, I did curl them, but oh my goodness, okay. I'm talking all this mad crap, and this mascara is coming to play. Like, look at that length. Cool. Let's try it on the side that I didn't curl, though. I'm curious to see. Okay, so like I made the biggest mess. This wand is semi sort of very messy, but look at this. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to do one more coat on this side because look at that length. Ooh. And even not curling it, I like it, but I prefer the side I did curl. I'm loving this mascara. Let me just like clean up the specks I made because, you know, I'm a mess. So, like, that mascara really took me by surprise. Oh, I'm loving it. And then for lips, I have a few different products. I know I want to play with this Kopari Lip Gloss in Birthday Suit. But I don't know if I want to add a color. Let's try the gloss on its own. And if I need to wipe it away and add a color, I will. So, this is what it looks like. And let's just apply some. So, it's just a squeezy tube. Very, very nude. Has a nice, like, birthday cake smell to it. Mm, I like it. It's just a nude gloss, honestly. Like, it's just a sheer gloss with 
a little bit of shimmer. Um, we're gonna wipe that away though, and I'm gonna apply a lipstick because I think I need something more. I have this. I don't know if this is gonna be the right shade for what I need today. Yeah, I think it will. So I have this Tarte Sugar Rush uh, Liquid Lipstick and Cupcake. We're just gonna apply this. It's like a velvet lipstick. It's a very light formula. I love it. The real test will be to see how long it lasts with uh, like wear-wise wear and see if it actually dries down matte. Because right now it's like still wet to the touch, but we will see. I'm going to apply a little bit of this birthday suit lip gloss just over the center. So yeah, that lipstick doesn't fully dry down matte because it did get all over my gloss, but it's really, really pretty. Oh, okay. I'm living for this look. So let's recap. Uh, primer, I don't, I'll, I'm going to give the primer another try just because I think my skin is too dry for it, but it is looking nice. My foundation, that wasn't even part of it. Concealer, I definitely will use again. A powder, I'm going to try it with a lighter concealer and see. Blush, I will definitely use again. Bronzer, I will. Highlight, probably not, honestly. If I'm being honest with myself, I will use the liquid highlighter again, but I won't use the powder. And then eyebrow product, yes, I will use again. Eyeshadow palette, oh yes, oh, oh yes. That mascara is probably the most exciting thing out of this video setting spray i will use again but it's not my favorite uh lipstick yes 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 it's just a gorgeous shade but you guys that is all let me know you guys think down below i love to hear your thoughts and opinions thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to subscribe down below i post new videos every monday wednesday friday and saturday and you guys can follow me on all my social media down below as well i'm on instagram facebook snapchat twitter and tiktok thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed can't wait to see you in the next one bye